Sony has been secretly working on a top TV technology over the past three years, which promises to surpass both OLED and Mini LED in terms of immersion and picture quality. In this video, I'm going to tell you two reasons why Sony chose this display technology over OLED as the future for its flagship TV. Then I'm going to explain how Sony's expertise brings about three unique benefits, namely better preservation of accurate skin tones of axis, more natural looking blooming, and selective boosting of color luminance. And last but not least, we'll wrap up with two factory calibration procedures that Sony performs for every single television panel to achieve optimal accuracy and uniformity, which may explain why Sony TVs are generally more expensive than other brands. In case you haven't already guessed by now, the TV technology Sony has been secretly developing for the past three years is an advanced RGB LED backlight system, which the Japanese brand is boldly positioning as the pinnacle of premium home cinema instead of OLED. Two reasons. 1. Higher color volume than OLED. Individually controllable red, green, and blue LEDs allow for more precise color wavelengths, permitting a wider color gamut quoted at 90% of BT2020, similar to QD OLED. Combined with LED LCD's inherently higher full-screen brightness, this results in significantly higher color volume, reportedly four times greater than that of QD OLED. 2. LED LCD-based displays are available in larger screen sizes at more accessible prices than OLED which aligns with Sony's Cinema is Coming Home messaging to deliver a more immersive cinematic experience, a crucial selling point for home entertainment. At a confidential briefing in Tokyo, Sony showcased its rich heritage and deep expertise in RGB LED backlighting, dating back to the Qualia LED TV in 2004. To highlight the advantages of its latest technology, Sony built a 75-inch prototype, exposing half of the screen to reveal the underlying red, green, and blue LEDs. Compared to competing RGB mini LED TVs from Hisense and Samsung shown at CES, Sony's backlight control exhibited finer precision, illuminating on-screen objects with greater detail and accuracy whereas Hisense and Samsung's implementations displayed larger, less defined color blobs though they could have been affected by additional polarizer or color filter layers. Sony attributes its superior precision to the company's new 22-bit LED driver for each color channel of red, green, and blue, equating to 66-bit control. Three distinct advantages of Sony's proprietary RGB LED backlight technology were then demonstrated using an 85-inch prototype compared against an 85-inch Sony Bravia 9 Mini LED TV and a 77-inch Sony A95L QD OLED. Advantage number one is improved viewing angles with preservation of skin tone's fidelity of axis, which is particularly important for large screen TVs. On traditional Mini LED TVs with a white backlight, the red, green and blue transmittance ratios through the LCD cell change at different rates of axis, resulting in visible color shifts. With an RGB LED backlight, however, each color component can be independently controlled, ensuring that the RGB balance remains stable even at wide angles. Flash tones retain their natural hues even when viewed from the sides. To demonstrate, Sony toggle between white mode and RGB mode on the 85-inch prototype displaying a scene from Gemini Man. The white mode would turn on all three red, green, and blue LEDs together without individual adjustments, simulating a conventional white LED backlight. Straight on, there was no perceptible difference between white mode and RGB mode. In fact, this was a voice recording of my reaction when Sony switched from RGB mode to white mode. What? Have you changed anything? Yeah. <laughs> However, when viewed from the sides, skin tones looked noticeably paler and lacked ruddiness in white mode, whereas RGB mode preserved the natural complexion. Advantage number two is more natural looking blooming. 
on mini-LED TVs with traditional white backlights, blooming around bright objects against a dark background always appears white, regardless of the on-screen object's actual color. With an RGB LED backlight, the blooming takes on the same color as the object, mimicking the retinal light scatter physiological phenomenon where light from a bright object against a black background can bounce around within the eye's internal structures, leading to the illusion of a faint glow around the object. Sony demonstrated this benefit using a scene from Black Widow featuring a bright red light, toggling between white mode where the blooming appeared white and RGB mode where the blooming adopted a red hue, therefore looking more natural. Advantage number three is selective boosting of color luminance. More conventional white backlight systems with local dimming can redirect power from darker areas to boost brightness in brighter areas. A feature of Sony's Backlight Master Drive technology, including on the Bravia 9 Mini LED television. However, an RGB LED backlight system takes this one step further with Sony's Color Boost Power Redistribution technology. Instead of adjusting only brightness, power can be dynamically reallocated between color channels. For example, red and green output can be reduced to boost blue. To demonstrate this color boost technology, Sony used a scene from Frozen 2 and a sequence from the live-action Aladdin, switching between white mode and RGB mode, where colors on Sony's new RGB LED prototype looked more vibrant and vivid than both the Sony Bravia 9 and the A95L QD OLED. Interestingly, Sony had to use vivid mode for this test, because when we analyzed the Ultra HD Blu-ray of Aladdin using the waveform and color gamut monitor on our own BVM H631-10, we discovered that while many colors in that scene exceeded DCI-P3 color space, they generally did not exceed 300 nits, suggesting that such high color luminance may not yet be necessary for today's content, although this may of course change in the future. In Tokyo, Sony also demonstrated its know-how in two advanced factory calibration procedures used to ensure every panel achieves optimal color accuracy and uniformity. The first is an automated light spread measurement system where each local dimming zone's light dispersion characteristics are mapped using a high-precision Sony Alpha industrial camera and then compensated for in the local dimming algorithm to not only prevent unwanted LED grid shadows, but also suppress blooming artifacts. On an RGB LED display, the light dispersion for each color, red, green, and blue, must be measured separately, since the light spread of red would be different from green and blue, for instance. The other factory calibration process involves panel uniformity correction, where every LCD panel undergoes individual calibration for luminance and color uniformity, with compensation data applied per unit to minimize potential inconsistencies caused by manufacturing variances. Sony's demo in this regard was extremely convincing. Three small, square-shaped transparent films of different colors were stuck onto a Sony LED television displaying a white background and after the LCD panel calibration, the areas beneath the color films had been adjusted to the extent that the entire screen still appeared uniformly white. As you can imagine, these factory calibration steps consume more time and effort, but Sony believes in establishing a clean foundation before applying PQ tuning on top to deliver its cinema is coming home philosophy which goes some way towards justifying the price premium on Sony TVs. If, like me, you are excited about Sony's new RGB LED backlight technology, unfortunately, it won't be ready this year. The Japanese brand is planning to launch its flagship RGB LED television in 2026, initially in 75 and 85-inch sizes, with mass production scheduled to start later this year. 
final production models may not have the same number of dimming zones and LEDs as the prototype, which is equipped with 32,000 LEDs and 4,000 individually dimmable zones. But the RGB LED backlight principle would remain unchanged, and Sony hinted that there's potential integration of the technology into the company's professional reference monitors too. Back in the consumer realm, Sony will announce its new 2025 TVs on the 2nd of April, and if you cannot decide on which TV to buy, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer with more than 50 stores in the United Kingdom, who provides six years warranty on the vast majority of TVs if you join the company's VIP club. You will get the best deals through cheaper VIP exclusive in-store only prices, complimentary gifts or freebies. So go visit your local Richer Sounds store or call Telesales for your next TV purchase. Thanks again for your support. Okay, while some of you may be surprised to learn that Sony sees RGB LED instead of OLED as the future of premium home entertainment, the Japanese brands pivot away from flagship OLED has started some time ago, as I've explained in a related video you can watch by clicking here.